Help, I'm lost! I just, there's random things. Is that a freaking ghost? Hey guys, Sky here from the Minecraft Mod Showcase, and today I am doing the Autumn Mod. Now, I was browsing the Minecraft forums, and I came across this mod, and it just looked like it had a bunch of potential, so I just had to do it. Basically, what this mod does is it adds seven new mobs into your Minecraft game, as well as a couple new blocks, a couple new items, and an entirely new dimension. So I'm going to go through everything that this mod has to offer, and I'm going to start with the crafting recipes, and then I'm going to show you some of the blocks, and then we'll get through the mobs, and then we'll go to the new dimension itself. So, uh, yeah, let's get this started. Alright, so the one and only crafting recipe in this mod uses butter. So, I mean, this mod is obviously really good when the only crafting recipe has butter in it. Anyway, so to craft the butter scarab, which is going to basically be one of the most important items in this mod, um, you're going to need four butter ingots and one diamond, and it will make the butter scarab. Now, you're probably wondering, what does the butter scarab actually do? The Butter Scarab is the item that opens up the portal into the Autumn Dimension. So, uh, basically you craft one of these portal-like things right here. And, um, and basically you just hit the, hit the middle right here with the, uh, Butter Scarab. And it will create the Autumn Dimension portal. Now, if you can't see right there in the middle, there also is another piece of sandstone. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you craft the portal and that's how you get to the Autumn Dimension. Now, as you can see over here, there are a bunch of items. Well, I will get to that in a bit um, when we actually go to the dimension, but for now, let's show you some of the mobs. Now, the first mob we have right here is called the Bandit Warrior. Now, uh, these guys' main purpose is to try and steal your stuff and kill you, so these guys are definitely not guys you want to go up to and give, like, a, a fist bump or anything, because I'm pretty sure he'll just retaliate by trying to stab you in the face. Now, a little side note before I continue, most of these mobs, if not all of them, can be found within the Autumn Dimension, so uh, am I saying that right? Autumn? Atom? I item atuminum da ba da ba ha ba da ba da. So the next mob we have right here is called the mummy. Now, uh, yeah, as you can see, it sort of looks kind of like a zombie, and it's it's kind of looks like it's wrapped in toilet paper. But that's some pretty swampy looking toilet paper. I'll just be honest. But uh, yeah, they are weak to fire. So if you have like a fire aspect sword, you know they'll they'll die a lot faster, and they will also run faster if ignited. So be careful. They're kind of like when you uh when you punch a pig, they get really really angry and fast, and they go like Wah! anyway. So uh yeah. So the next guy we have right here is called the Bandit Archer. Now these guys are really, really, really good with their bow. They have a sort of an enchanted bow, and uh, they can shoot really far, and they have pretty good accuracy, so be careful when trying to slap these guys in the face. Um, I tried it. It didn't work. He just got really, really angry. So uh, yeah, Bandit Archer. Now the next one we have right here is called the Pharaoh, and as you can see by his magnificent butter armor, he is going to be a force to be reckoned with. Um, he is a pretty strong mob, and, uh, yeah, he's, he's basically kind of the master of the Autumn Dimension. So, yeah, be careful when fighting him, because he will probably mess you up. Just, just look at that. His glorious, magnificent butter armor. I mean, just come on. Now, the next one right here is called the Dusty Skeleton. And as you can see, he sort of looks like a skeleton who might have tripped in manure or something, because he's, he just... You're a very dusty looking skeleton, aren't you? Anyway, so he's he's sort of like a, uh, a zombie mixed with a skeleton, so he's kind of a force to be reckoned with, and uh, yeah, he's he's kind of a uh, he's kind of faster than your average um, zombie. Uh, so yeah, the dusty skeleton. Now the next one we have right here, who's slowly crawling at me at the speed of slug. Um, this right here is the stone soldier. Now these guys are pretty much impervious to damage because they're just they just have so many hearts. They're just uh, so hard to kill. I mean, I could be at this for hours, but uh, yeah, be weary of these guys I mean kind of I mean if if, if you're really slow that is you should be weary of them But uh, yeah, just don't show you anyway guys. Let's head over to the autumn awesome dimension be my, friend. Be my friend be my friend. Hey, hey, Stop it. hey Hey, Ow. hey, what? really? What do you want? I, I, I what do you want why are you in butter? Uh, cause I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. I can, cause oh, I'm I'm just, a mummy. What do you want? What do I you want? I want to go to the dimension with you. No. Yes. I'm not. No. You're yes. a squid. I'm not taking you to the freaking Adam dimension. You you are a squidish just, man. Just go away. Just you, go. Here, no. Have no. a playmate. I, I don't want it. There you go. He smells like poop. Go. Now you're Get friends. him away from me. Go away. He's stinky. 
stay. Hey, I should like. No, this guy. please don't leave me here. Now I do want to say before I go in, there are a lot of new blocks. Now there are ones that I actually couldn't find the crafting recipes for, as you can see right here. There's strange sand, limestone, cracked limestone, large limestone bricks, uh, small limestone bricks, carved limestone, limestone stairs, cracked limestone stairs, large limestone brick stairs, small limestone brick stairs, and a palm log and palm planks. Now these are all available within the autumn dimension. Now, I couldn't actually find any of the crafting recipes for these guys, so if you want to check it out in the forums, go ahead and do that. So, uh, yeah, let's let's go check out the dimension. Oh, God, here we go. Wow! 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 Oh, oh wow, look at that. It's got sort of like a, a sandstormy effect going on here. And there's random what looks to be dead trees and uh, some of these dead plants and some mobs. Oh, there's lots of mobs. Oh, man, so make sure when you go in here you're pretty well decked or else you're going to get kind of beat up. Now, the dimension is a little bit laggy, um, and that comes sort of with the mod, I guess probably with the sandstorm particles. Um, anyway, guys, that's pretty much the last there is of this mod. I mean, there are little dungeons within the, uh, within the mod, and there's little small areas where you can explore, but I can't really find them in this sandstormy type desert, so I'll leave that to you guys, recruits. Oh my god, I almost ended this mod showcase without showing you all these really cool items, I'm so sorry. Um... <laughs> So as you can see right now, I am wearing a bunch of this armor. It's amazing, butter looking armor right here. Um, and this is called the Raw's Glory. This is sort of a, uh, a butter helmet. And this is called the Sekhmet's Wrath. And this is sort of a butter chest plate. And this is called Nuts Agility. <laughs> and this is called the Horse's Flight. And um, the, all this armor can be found within the dimension. I don't actually know where you can find it because it didn't actually specify. Um, same goes with the... Uh, with these tools I, it didn't really specify that at all either but I think the desert bow and the scimitar you can actually get by killing bandits but the rest of these I don't actually know where you get them I think I think you get them in these little dungeon chests but I'm not completely sure but uh, yeah as you can see they all have like special uh, attributes like the nuts agility that probably give that that's probably the thing that's giving me the speed bonus and the bra's glory that's most likely the night vision and um, Horus's flight that's most likely the jump boost and Sekhmet's Wrath is most likely the fire resistant. And on top of that, you can also get all of these different uh, special items right here called like Gab's Blessing, and that has Unbreaking uh, 10, and uh, Acker's Toil, which I, 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 that's a lot, and, and, and this one has Efficiency, Smite, Knockback, and Fortune. Um, so like all of these have some pretty cool effects on them. But anyway guys, that's pretty much the, the last of the mod. And, uh, yeah, if you like the commentary and you're new to the channel, click that like and that subscribe button. I'd love a new addition to the Sky Army. Also, follow me on Twitter and Facebook in the description below. And check out the mod in the description below as well. It's so cool. It has a lot of potential, and I believe it's going to be a pretty cool mod. There are a little bit of bugs, as you can see, when I'm walking around. It kind of kind of glitches a little bit. But that's to be expected when you have, like, a sandstorm blowing in your face. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I'm Sky. And I'll see you later, recruits. Where's the exit?